Tuesday with Shalise and Susan. Yay! Today we've just been talking for the last, what, hour, hour and a half about synchronicity and how things have just really been lining up for both of us, really. Um, and so, of course, when I came over today, I was like, Susan, there's got to be something in the sky about this because it's like full force in play right now for me. Absolutely. Absolutely it is. And before we go there, though, I do have to say, and I told you I had to say this. Last week, I got the timing of the new moon off. It was p.m. and not a.m. So if something felt a little off for you, it was. I was wrong. <laughs> so if something felt a little off, that's why. But what we're going into this week, like I would say some unexpected things happened at the end of last week, maybe some things you had to work through. So what that's really shifting at this point, and we also had some really cool emotional loving energy in the past few weeks as well. But so what is happening now is paradigms are being shifted. Our thoughts, how we understand certain things, those are being shifted. And so it's through these little synchronicities, through these chance happenings. And I mean, gosh, I had one today that just blew me away. I think you had one last night. Yeah, right? I did. <laughs> so there are things that you may not notice if you're not paying attention. You're, it, you may just be like, oh, that was interesting or whatever. But I take note of them mm -hmm. because I think they're, they're coming into play and they're changing us and shaping us. And they're changing our, our minds and we're understanding ourselves through these experiences with other people or just situations. We're understanding ourselves in a different, in a different way. And that's what I always concentrate on anyway, is, right. is how we can sit within ourselves and feel the best that we can feel and, and understand that we work through things and life, life is hard. Yeah usually you know and sometimes not right <laughs> um and how that. we can <laughs> yeah how we can work through it just being being compassionate and kind to ourselves and yeah. understanding that we can work through it and we can realize it well and i think it's really cool too and one of the things that happened to me last night is reflecting on the past few months and saying well if this didn't happen then neither would this or this or this. And it just, like the way that it lined up and the way that it's starting to come back full circle, just, it, that just blew my mind. Cause I'm like, and then it just keeps going and I can see a little bit of how it possibly could play out even more so in the, in the future with yeah, other things. And maybe that won't be the case or maybe it will, but it's going to be really interesting to, to notice it, acknowledge it, and then reflect on it three more months down the road and say, oh my gosh, that really worked out, or this worked out instead, and oh my gosh, that was fantastic too. Yeah, so, I don't think we ever know what's coming. No. We try. We do. But <laughs> and, and so as we go through these times where situations or synchronicities come into our life like this, being open to understanding them in whatever way is more empowering at that moment. Oh, or, for sure. Or even changes us. Sometimes it's hard to change or look at... Like something I've been doing these past few days is asking myself, what am I supposed to learn from that? And I know mm. we talk about that a lot, but for me, it's, you know, usually astrological talk. It's what does this transit, what's, what is it asking me to learn? What is it asking me to change? And I think that's a good one for these next coming days where our perceptions will be changing, our minds will be activated a little bit more and just saying, is there something I'm not looking at? Is there something, is there a change in me that can occur? Right. Is there something maybe I'm doing that I'm projecting and I'm making it someone else's issue when really it's going on inside of me? What can I change? Right, so, yeah. exactly. No, I love that. I, I love looking at that. And, and that nurtures your self-awareness as well. And that's a huge part of it. And when you ask yourself those questions, you become more and more self-aware and then when these things are happening you start to pick up on them a lot quicker uh, yeah absolutely so it's really cool and i also want to say that this is the one year anniversary for coffee talk tuesday oh nice <laughs> i just remembered that yay, yay. so 
<laughs> well, any, anything else you want to add, Susan? Or No, you know, it's been no. a day. It it's has been, been a day. Crazy day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I just love you, and I love that you're here, I and you. I love that we can have these conversations, and please... Comment, like, share, all those all those great things. We want to hear your thoughts as well. So hope everything's working out for you guys today. We do. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.